This is the poor man plot. And if you look around, you can see there's an awful lot of clover coming up. In some spots, it's about three inches tall. Uh, most spots, it's about an inch, inch and a half tall. I don't know what we do in the poor man plot when it comes time to mow it. We haven't quite crossed that bridge yet. But if you look at it now, don't, a couple of things really jumped out at us. All around these stumps that I, we put the tord on, on the, uh, the downhill side where it would have washed off the stump and leached into the ground, we didn't get any clover germinating. So that might be something to keep in mind if you've got a lot of stumps uh, in your poor man plot. You might not hit. You might not want to hit them with tordon, or give it maybe some time before you you go to plant it. I think the I think the clover will come in in those areas, but that's the only areas on this whole plot that we can find where the clover didn't come in really well. We got lucky. Uh, we did rake it up, so we roughed up the soil just enough so that when the seed went down and the rains came, you'd get some good seed to soil contact. But we had about two weeks of rain, intermittent. You know, every few days we'd get some rain, you know, shortly after we planted this. And that makes a big difference. But, you know, really we couldn't have expected this to have done any better than it has. It really looks good for something that was planted the way that we put it together. I'm going to touch a little bit more on the process here, what seed I put in and why. Some of the challenges that come with doing a broadcast seeding uh, during this time of the year. We've used the frigid porch clover blends quite a bit for frost seeding and it works you know, perfect for that. But there's some risk when you do a broadcast seeding without tilling and incorporating the seed into the soil uh, during this time of the year because you've got to catch a good window of rain otherwise you just don't get that seed to germinate. It, uh, it starts to and then it dries out right away because there's, it's not um, covered up with dirt which holds the moisture a little bit closer to the seed, it's sitting on top. So you gotta have enough rain where it beats it, beats it, beats it, and keeps it wet enough that it can germinate and then maybe get a little bit of, of the dirt around it you know, to come in on top. So it's not a given that this is gonna work. Uh, it worked out good for us this year because of the rain conditions that we had. But like I said, that frigid forage clover blend, it's the pure trophy clover, that will work really well for this type of seeding. And obviously it, it worked for us this time. I wouldn't put anything but clover in a food plot this small. If you have any number of deer at all, they're gonna clean you out if you try to put something in here besides clover. Clover can take a fair amount of, of grazing, browsing type pressure and still produce a nice crop for you. Uh, just about anything else you might plant uh, would definitely not hold up to the pressure. So looking forward to it, we got the tree stand location right here. And uh, in theory, there's some really good trails in behind me here where the deer are coming up into this area uh, of open fields to feed. So they should come in here, stage, and then work on through and go up into these open fields. There's gonna be corn about 30, 40 yards in front of me here. So we got the perfect staging area before the deer go out into the corn in the evening. 